Okay, so I thought I'd just share a quick tip with you before I move on to the next stage of the quilt. Once it's finished piecing, I always press the top so it's ready for um, layering and quilting. Just flattens everything out, gets the seams flat. But it also gives you the opportunity to see if there's any um, missed seams or not. And I came across one here. Um, you'll see that I've added a pin here with a decorative head. It's an, a, a, not a small pin at all. The reason I do that is because you can be assured that once you've lifted that off the ironing board, bring your um, back to the machine, you're not going to remember where it is. And no matter how hard you look, you won't find it. So I've used a pin here with a decorative head so it doesn't get lost. And the other important thing to do is count your pins out. If you're using one pin, make sure that you've removed one pin at the end. If you keep a count of your pins, you're not going to leave it in and cause an accident to somebody. So what I'm going to do now is just get this back under the machine, stitch that under, and then I can go on to the next stage. 